Hello everybody and welcome back to season 31 of the Pokemon Cup series. Today we're here at Homestead Miami Speedway for the running of the Ford EcoBoost 400. We had a wild weekend with both the Truck and X series racing at Homestead. Joshua Anderson and the other one of the X series winner Max Anderson won their respective races. I should say Joshua Andrews my bad my apologies but they were winners here at Homestead. We'll see who, which cup driver will get to celebrate victory here today. Cars roll off as Rich Roy is your pole setter today. And let's take a look at where the winner Jonathan Fast is. Starting in the middle of the pack, he was the winner of the Daytona 500 last time. So we'll see if he can go two for two to kick off the season. 25 laps at Homestead, Miami. Pace car will come down pit road. We had an exciting weekend so far. And we're going to wrap it up here with the cup race at Homestead, Miami. Going to be a lot of fun to do. Here we go. Pace car comes up, comes down. And we are green in the 40 Go Boost 400. There's already a crash, a big crash already on the first lap. That didn't last long. Already a first lap crash. My goodness. Wow, they didn't even get their turn one safely. That's, that's pretty bad. Wow. Let's look back at the crash here. Maxwell Smart, I believe, was involved there. And there was Alexander Rowe and John Andrews right there. Zach Fitzwater, John Andrews, and the 48 of Alexander Rowe in the crash. Here's the here's the wreck with the 31 and 48. Oh boy. That's that wasn't good. Couple cars in the wall there. There you see 34. James Richardson with some damage. O'Neill Balvin involved. There's Donovan Duhit. Donovan Duthit. Ying Caninario. Alex Hawkins. Steve Morgan. John Mendez. Eli Bright. A couple cars wrecked on the very first lap. Not a good start. Those cars are gonna head to pit road. It's way too early for pit stops, so they're not they're gonna stay out. Wow. First lap chaos already at Homestead in the Pokemon Cup. And a handful of drivers are out. And let me see. Richardson's out. Balvin's out. Smart's out. Hawking's out. Bright's out. John Andrews is also out. No, John Andrews is a lap down, but he's still back on track. And we're back to the green. And another caution, once again, another crash in the back of the pack, and they're battling for the lead of the racing back to the checkers. Who got it? I think Lopez did. He did. Lopez leads. Another crash in the back. Second time in a row we've had another crash. This time Ryan Acosta with some major damage. And it started right here with Chandler Caudill. I don't know what was going on with the 42. Oh, whoa, no. Wait a minute. Matthew M. Deb was in the wall. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what happened to Matthew M. Deb. He might have had something go down. Got on the wall. And then the 42 collides with the 2. And the 19 gets involved as well. That's our second caution, not as big as before, but still a caution, and this has been a messy race for the Cup Series. The other two series races were not like this. They were not wreck fests at all, so it's just very surprising to see a lot of cars wrecking in and out. But anyway, pit stops are underway under caution, and they're going to try to make it on just one stop. But considering that they pitted early, it's... it's might not be the case they might have to take another pit stop in the race but Lopez and Rich Roy won two 
so no changes there and how about Josh crash with a fourth coming out fourth on pit road a lot of big big guys off pit road there you see JT mouse in the 96 the X series drivers are gonna share that ride every X series driver is gonna have a chance to ride that 96 in the cup series in every race JT mouse is today's lucky recipient and he gets to experience the cup series race for himself and he's doing pretty well at 18th so let's see who retired Acosta Richardson are out JT mouse is 18th he's done okay he's doing okay here in the his one and only cup race this season but we'll see if Anthony Lopez though can hang on for the win hopefully we don't get another crash instantaneously green flag is back in the air So far, so good. We're clean. Oh, whoa, Lopez is, has a problem. He's coming down pit road. Wow, I never thought he would come down pit road this early again. I don't know what happened. And then uh, 24th and sales on coming down pit road. Wow, are you serious? I don't know what happened to Lopez there, but he might have had a problem. And unfortunately, he's going to have to pit. Some scraping in the wall in the back, and now the th one car is also on pit road. Wow, this is freaky. That's Joseph Romanuk who's running sixth. We saw everybody on pit road. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know what happened to those two. Weird. Very re weird. Rich Roy leads. Is he going to come down pit road? He's not going to. Thank goodness. And we're, we've just passed the halfway point here with 12 to go. Josh Crash second, Robert Smith third, Patrick Smith fourth, and Cody Smart fifth. How about the two Smiths running in the top five? Look at Patrick Smith trying to get the second spot away from the 18 of Josh Crash. And they get it. Robert Smith and oh look at the Smiths, the two Smiths trying to go by Rich Roy. Lap traffic ahead, that is Chandler Cold on the 42. Oh man, this is gonna be awkward. Oh wow, the threes are getting held up. 14's in the wall though. Three gets by the 42. And the Smiths are 1 2. 14 Rich Roy had to go up high. He had to hit the wall to avoid the 42. That cost him precious time. And here's Ryan Casey out of nowhere gets fourth position. 10 laps to go, and now we'll have 9 laps to go. The last two races of the series here went to overtime we'll see if the cup series will complete the trifecta Josh Crash going for second place again while Patrick Smith is pulling away trying to hang on for the race win eight laps to go and a crazy weekend here at Homestead. And now the field separates a little bit. Fifth place is now Cody Smart. Angel Navarro in sixth. There's seventh and eight. There's a battle for weight. Wow, Rich Roy dropped a lot more positions. He was seventh before. Now he's out of the top ten. Oh, man. He's getting very slow now. It's unfortunate. Oh, look at this. Patrick Smith might approach some lap traffic. That's John Andrews in the 31. We'll see how this will work out. They're approaching the um, 31 very quickly. Oh, wow. They're in the wall. Look at the runs the 18's got. We'll see the 18 can get their below contact. Crash goes by. Three gets held up a little bit by his own teammate. 
but he stays in line. He loses fourth, third place though. And Crash pulls, is, a, is now the leader. Here comes Smith again, and they're gonna pit. Six laps to go, pit stops under, pit stops again. And I knew they wouldn't make it on just one pit stop. They pitted early on lap eight, so it was only a matter of time before these guys pitted again. Will we have another crazy caution to bring out overtime here? We'll see. I'm not sure who stays out, but we do know everybody took their pit stop. Huh. Alexander Rowe, these guys are lapped. Saw a couple cars out. Patrick Smith's out. Smith is out. I'm not sure who the leader will be back when they get back to the stripe. We can only wait until we see how these pit stops are going to shuffle the field. Because I'm a little confused right now as who's leading this race. Oh no, Patrick Smith got a bad pit stop. Oh wow, he's going to lose a lot of positions. He had a bad pit stop. Obviously everybody else went out before he got out. So we do know Patrick Smith might not be your winner in this race. Wow, what a tough break for the 12. His pit crew lets him down. I think, I believe, I'm not sure who. And they're going to say the 15 leads. So now they're saying Anthony Lopez is your leader. He's got to get through lap traffic though. And second place is Joseph Romanuk. Oh boy. Lopez is going to have a little bit of a, tr a little trouble here trying to get by past slower cars. All trying to hang on for the win. He's in the wall, so is Romanuk. But there'll be three laps to go. Might have to let the 43 go in the hopes of avoiding the 18 from taking the lead. Crash has now moved up to second. There's Josh Crash. There's Igor Barreto, who is third place. He's trying to take second place. Could be a benefit for the leader. Lopez, and I think Lopez is pitting. I believe the 15 is pitting, and he is. Wow. Yep, he's pitting. Two to go. This is where the caution came out last time. Here's Barreto leading. Crashes in the wall. He was running second. He got on the wall. That might cost him. Casey leads. White flag in the air for Igor Barreto. Out of nowhere, he takes the lead with one to go and we will stay green for the end wow what a shocking twist it turns out pit stops decided this race and Igor Barreto had the best strategy of everybody two turns away from the 33 getting the win Casey's got hope for a miracle final two turns and Igor Barreto is going to come off the final turn. He's going to steal this win here in the Ford EcoBoost 400 at Homestead, Miami. What a surprise. Igor Barreto wins at Homestead on pitch strategy. What a race. A lot of traffic, a lot of slower traffic. Nearly prevented Barreto from pulling away, but he did was able to hold on for the race win over Ryan Casey. He had the best pit strategy of them all, beat everybody else to it, and won the race. Lopez ran out of gas with a few laps to go, costing him the win. And when Casey hit that wall, Barreto pulled away and did not let go of the lead. And Igor Barreto has won today at Homestead, Miami in a crazy, crazy race. There's the rest of the results on the left of your screen. You can pause the video to find where your driver finished. But ultimately, it was a fun, fun weekend here at Homestead, Miami. We uh, had a blast here with a lot, with two races going to overtime. And this cup race had an unpredictable winner in the form of Igor Barreto. Next weekend, we will head over to Auto Club Speedway for a doubleheader in California. In terms for the Pole Barn Cup Series only though. The next weekend is going to be an Auto Club Speedway. Only the X Series and the Cup Series will run there. The next truck race by the way will be in Iowa. Where it will be its own weekend with the X Series there as well. So th weekends 3 and 4 to recap. The third weekend's the next, the next one. 
and the X Series and Cup Series will run at Auto Club, and then after that, the X Series and Truck Series will run at Iowa, and the Cup Series will run at Sonoma. So, back-to-back -back California races for the Cup Series, but next weekend begins with the X Series race from Auto Club Speedway. So, hope you'll join us for a big weekend Coming up in Auto Club, it's going to be fun with the fast track. That's a very fast track, a very wide track, so you can expect to see a lot of super speedway-like action at Fontana. So, we can't wait for that. Igor Barreto gets, doesn't have to wait to get into the playoffs. He wins here at Homestead, Miami. The 40 Eco Boost 400 and the 33. And we will see you guys next weekend at Auto Club Speedway. Thanks for watching this Pokemon Cup Series race. If you liked it, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Pichu London R and Pichu London. Follow me on social media with the links down below, and click that bell to be one of the first to watch the newest Pokemon Cup Series race. This is Pichu London, and I'll see you guys on the next race.